Hey guys, this is Tony from Good Japan, Bad Japan. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to play the lottery. So this video about how to play the lottery is broken down into a few key parts. First, I'm gonna tell you where you can go to play the lottery. Next, I'm gonna talk to you about important vocabulary that you need to know if you want to play the lottery. Then I'm going to break down what one of these tickets looks like so that you can understand its base components. And then lastly, I'm gonna tell you if I won. So come along for the ride. It's going to be an educational experience. So the first question is, where can you find a place to buy these lotto tickets? And the answer is, most places that have a lot of foot traffic. Just look at the picture behind me. This is where I bought mine, and these little booths are everywhere. I've seen them in department stores. I've seen them connected to supermarkets. Uh, the one in question that you're seeing behind me is close to Wakayama Castle, and Wakayama Castle will get a lot of foot traffic. So that's the important thing to know. If you want to gamble, if you're going to a place that gets a lot of people, supermarkets, department stores, malls, should be easy to find. So let's talk about some useful Japanese vocabulary so that you can play the lottery. First, I'm gonna lead with this term. It's called Nenmatsu Jambo. Nenmatsu means end of year. Jambo, I have no idea, <laughs> but it's the name of the event. It's the big end of year lottery, the grand prize. Let me take a look. It says, yeah, 700 million yen grand prize. So it's, it's the end of the year. And if you're gonna buy a lotto ticket, might as well go big or go home and do the end of year lottery, the Nenmatsu Jumbo. Second vocabulary word I want to mention is Renbon. Renbon, to me, and from what I've researched, this is kind of like consecutive number or serial number. What I want you to think about with Renbon is think same number, and I'm gonna come back to that. The next one I have is called Bada. Bada. So Bada is a Japanese word that means scattered, like pew, 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 pew. If you watch One Piece, You've got Buggy the Clown, he was one of the first villains. He ate Bada Bada no Mi, which is the like separation fruit or whatever you want to call it. But that's the image you need to have. Bada, scattered. So remember that. We have Renbon, think same number, and then Bada, scattered. Okay. Now, the next word we have is Kumi. Kumi is what you're gonna see on these tickets when I, I go into them in detail. Kumi means organization or group. You see this in Japanese schools everywhere. You you have A Kumi, B, you know, or maybe they say Gumi depending on if it's connected to other words. But classes are divided by Kumi. Uh, even Yakuza factions are divided by Kumi. You, you see this kanji associated with groups. So remember, Kumi. And then lastly is Keita. Keita just means digit. And this is a lottery and there are numbers. So digit is a very important vocabulary word to know. So those are the five. Nanmatsu Jambo, Renban, Bada, Kumi, and Keita. Okay, so for this next part, Renbon and Bara. So when, when my wife sent me on the errand to go buy lottery tickets, she said, it's the Nenmatsu Jumbo, the big end of year drawing. We never play the lottery. Let, let's go big for once. So we, we dropped 10,000 yen on lotto tickets. So that's almost a hundred dollars, but we only play once a year. But anyway, how we order the tickets. Each ticket is 300 yen. So I want you to, to think about the math. 
10,000 yen minus 100. So that's 9,900 yen divided by 300. That's 33 total tickets. Renbon, you can, you can order in various quantities, and my wife and I did two packs of 10. So Nijumai, 20 tickets, Renbon. So 10 tickets in one pack, 10 tickets in another, both Renbon. And what that means is, look at the number. The number says 80. 80 kumi. Kumi is that group number. If you order Renbon, the 10 tickets that are in a pack are all gonna be the same kumi. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Now, the highest kumi I've seen so far is 155. So there's, for the lottery, there is a wide range of numbers and combinations. The other important thing to notice with the Renbon is that not only is the Kumi the same, but the six digit number underneath, they're all one digit apart. So this one says 130,619. Uh, the other tickets I have say 618, 617, 616, 615, count backward by 10. So you have 10 tickets for Renbon when you order that, the kumi is gonna be all the same. So maybe you have a good feeling and you say, oh, 80 sounds great. Or maybe it's random. And that's what we did. I said, give me a pack of 10, Renbon, and they, 80 was chosen at random. So I got 10 tickets that said 80. And the six digit number underneath was all separated by one digit. So that way you kind of cast a more focused net if that's what you're going for. So we did this two times, two packs of Renbon for 20 tickets total. Now, if you remember Bara, Bara is scattered. Bara is all over the place. So we had 13 tickets left we wanted to buy. So I said, juice on my Bara onagaishimasu. You know, give me, give me 13 Bara tickets. And so you can see from the examples behind me that the kumi is different in all these tickets. If by some ch some chance it could be random that it's the same kumi, but it's bara. So you can expect randomness. Same thing from the six digit number. To me, this is kind of like um, the American lotto. If you do a quick pick and they just randomly choose for you, uh, that way you don't have to think about it. So that's Bada, and we got 13 of those tickets. Okay, you still with me? So now we can get into the actual breakdown of the ticket and what all the components mean. So in the upper left-hand corner, it says Nenmatsu Jumbo in Japanese. So this is just telling you, this is the end of year event. And they make that very clear on the ticket. And you know, they've got a whole bunch of cool Christmas figures, playing music and being all happy. Now, at the bottom left, you can see the cost of the ticket, 300 yen. So every ticket for this drawing is 300 yen. Very, very clear. In the bottom middle, if you look at the bottom middle, you're gonna see a barcode. When you cash in your tickets after the lottery, this is what they scan and it tells them, is it a winner and how much? or even if the ticket is still valid. So the barcode is very important. For any of you who are thinking of possibly counterfeiting tickets from this YouTube video, I don't know how you're gonna pull it off. I'm only showing losing tickets or I'm covering the barcode of any winners that we've already cashed in, so too bad, good luck. Um, but under the barcode, you have kanji that says chusen hi, Maybe it's Chusenbi, but that's that's the date. That tells you the end of, or not the end, when the drawing is taking place. So the Nenmatsu Jumbo is happening December 31st. It is really a year end event. Next, you have Shi Harai Kikan. This is when you can cash in your ticket. So it says January 8th, the following year. 
So this Nenmatsu Jumbo is December 2020 from January 8th, 2021 until January 7th, 2022, you can cash in your lotto ticket and get money for it. The next part in the upper right hand corner, the kanji says Zenkoku Jidai, Shidai. So I really need to work on my Japanese. Underneath it, it says Takarakuji. All you need to know is that in short, this means nationwide lottery. This is an event that if you're in Hokkaido, Okinawa, Fukuoka, Shikoku, you can participate in it from anywhere. And underneath that, it says Dai Hapyaku Rokuju Nikai. So this means this is the 862nd lottery. I don't know if that means the 862nd end of year event. That would mean they were doing lotteries back in the 1300s, which I doubt. This is probably just the 862nd lotto drawing in the history of this lotto organization. Underneath, it says uh, Hachiju Kumi or Hachiju Gumi. This is that group number we already talked about. And then underneath that, you've got a six digit number. Those are the base components. The cost of the ticket, the barcode, when the drawing is, when you can cash in your money, if it's important to you, which number drawing it was for this particular lotto event. And then the, the most important part, which is the Kumi and the six digit number, so you can find out if you're a winner. Okay, now for the fun part. Did we win? So look behind me or, or look to the side of me. Uh, this is the chart. You can see the date listed from the internet where it says uh, December 31st, 2020. So we know this is the correct event. It says Nenmatsu Jambo. You've got four columns. The first column is the rank of the prize. So the top prize, the 700 million yen, that's number one. That's your grand prize. And then you've got other prizes underneath. Lots of rank twos because the prize money is similar. Um, a rank three prize, level down. So it keeps, keeps getting lower and lower. The second column is your prize money. So once again, top prize, 700 million yen. And once you get down to rank five, you've got 10,000 yen, which is about what my wife and I spent. And then the last one, rank seven, that's 300 yen. So that's the minimum requirement you could meet to win something. And you're essentially being reimbursed for the cost of one ticket. Next, you have Kumi. And then next to it, you have Bango. Bango is number. So this is where Kumi and the six digit number come in handy. Look at the Kumi column. The grand prizes have exact Kumi numbers. They have to match. That top prize of 700 million yen, it says 23 Kumi. So your ticket has to say 23 Kumi and Look at the number next to it. It says 150367. You have to meet both requirements in order to get that grand prize. So the second prize, the third prize, 23 Kumi. Next, next prize down, you see number three Kumi, 1686, 155. So for the best prizes, you have to match the Kumi number 100%. Then there's that middle area. The middle area is a little tricky. Keita means digit. And in the context of this picture, it's referring to the last digit. So if your kumi, if the last digit is zero or two, you could win those prizes. So if your kumi was 20 or 30 or 42 or 52, you could win a big prize as long as you have that six digit number matching along with it. 
Now the last part where you get into the 50,000 yen and the 10,000 yen prizes, you see yon keita, so four. Four keita, san keita, ni keita, and then i keita, or ichi keita, whatever you want to call it. So the yon keita, if the last four digits, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at this point what your kumi number is. You're just looking at the six digit number. If the last four digits match, you get 50,000 yen. Uh, and those four digits are 9394. So if the end of your six digit number is 9394, you win that. For number three, if the last three digits are 244, 364, or 581, you get 10,000 yen. Then you have the number two, if the last digits are 30. And then lastly, the easy prize. If any ticket that you bought, if the last digit of those six digits is zero, you get reimbursed the cost of your ticket. Okay, now for the last part. Did my wife and I win the Nenmatsu Jumbo? So the first thing I'll point out is that we did get four baby winners that ended in zero. So we bought 33 tickets and four tickets out of the 33 had a last digit of zero. So that worked in our favor. We did Renbon twice, and so the last digit of those six, digit, six digits that you get is going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if you get a pack of 10, you're almost guaranteed to get 300 yen back because the last digit is going to match somehow. So you can see on this ticket, 155 kumi, that was our other Renbon. We had 10 tickets with that kumi, and there's a zero. But that kumi also came through for us in another big way. And you can see the last three digits are 581. And if you look at the winning chart, if the last three digits of your ticket are 581, you get 10,000 yen. So, we got 11,200 yen and we paid 9,900 yen, which if my math is correct, is a profit of 1,300 yen, which may be about 11 or $12 American. That's, that's a meal at Coco Curry. It's delicious. Ah. Nom, 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 nom. Um, but hey, if you're going to go big, even a small win feels good, but it's not guaranteed to happen every time. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational and you learned a lot so that if you ever come to Japan and you want to give the lottery a try, you know some vocabulary so that you can buy some quick tickets and you can understand whether or not you won. Do you have any questions for me? Please put questions in the comments below. Have you played the lottery in other countries? What is it like for you there? What do you like about this system? Do you think this system is easier or harder than the lottery in your home country? Please put that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.